All right. I, I don't really need much for this job. I always bring my knee pad around. It cracks me up. This used to have vinyl on it. In fact, it still does. Look, I put duct tape over the whole thing. I just love this one because it has a handle on it. And lots of them don't. I, I've been looking around for a new one that's got a vinyl covered foam, not just the foam one, with the handle. I can't find them anywhere. So I just put duct tape on this one. <laughs> and, I, and as you can see, I'm just going to use a regular paint tray. Here's the brand new paint tray. This thing's probably, oh, I don't know, five years old. Look at that. Not a drop of paint is in there because I use inserts. These inserts you can buy for, you know, less than a buck a piece. See here, I, I've got, I think I've got two more. Look at that. I still got two with no paint in them at all. But am I going to use those? No, I'm not going to use those. I've got two other ones here, and I just, uh, the, other, the other night, uh, yesterday, I used this one, and I had the white paint in there to paint the ceiling. Am I going to use this one for painting the walls? No, but if this, if I was just picking, pulling this out of the garage, and if this was six months old, paint on here, and it's all dry and hard as a rock, yeah, I could use that for painting the ceiling, put the, uh, the gray right over the top of this. If you don't use the paint tray for very long, you can do that. But if I was going to be using this paint tray all day long, uh, thinking, okay, I'm going to cut in, I'm going to paint all my baseboard before installing the carpet and that, and I'm just going to drag this around, um, you might not want to do that with a different color paint in here before you, before you put your new paint in, because after a while, it could start activating uh, the old paint, okay? And because it was just yesterday, I don't want to do that on this one. And so I'm pretty sure I've got, I've got another, I've got another one here. Now see, this one here is the same color that I'm going to be installing. And this is, this, this one I haven't used for a while. So this is the one I'm going to use, okay? And, um, so I'm not going to use this one, and I like to keep my new my new trays towards the bottom so I don't get them all mixed up. I'm just going to put that one there. There, I'm all ready for my paint. Now, and when I use my paint, what I like to do is I like to use one of these little flexible deals to put there. And normally, what I try to do is, you see here, look at this. This paint can. It's, it's not that old, but there's, I don't have any paint drops on the front, right? Well, see, this is what happens after a while. You get paint drops all over the place. So that's why on this, I'm going to put this on the back side. In case you happen to have, you, you need to know what the name of your paint is. Usually the formula, they'll put a tag on the top of this. Sometimes they used to put it on the side and, and towards the front. People would pour the paint out through the front. And then it would get all over your tag. You can't see what the name of your of your color is, let's say. Okay, so when I when I use this, I'll put this over on this side. And I always use a, a little paint opener. I used to use a screwdriver years ago, but lots of times if you have a metal uh, top, it starts bending that up, if you know what I'm talking about. And, um, and my paint stick. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And because... I might be doing two coats of paint here, okay? If the first coat of paint, um, if, I, if I, as it's drying, if I think I need to put a second coat, then obviously I gotta keep this paint out, right? And um, if I end up doing that, then I'm gonna leave my paint roller, I'm gonna leave my paint roller cover on my, on my frame, and I'm gonna use the small frame, okay? And then I just take a piece of, of plastic, and this is just, just a plastic bag that I cut, and then um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this saturated with paint. And then I'm just going to put it in my plastic and roll it up like that. And then do that, fold over the, that side, and, and roll it up. And then I'm going to keep that. I can keep, I can keep it uh, a wet uh, paint roller cover like that for, you know, take a lunch break. Or I can leave that for like an hour if I wanted to, okay? And then as I pull it back out, it's still going to be nice and wet. Then I don't have to rinse this out between coats. 
See, I did, I did that for the white paint on the ceiling, and I used the same cover, and I just held it there, wrapped it up. Make sure you get it pushed in tight so that you don't have any air bubbles in here because you don't want this to dry out. And you don't want this with hardly any paint on there before you wrap it because the idea is you want to keep this saturated. So, so I had most of the paint off of this roller uh, cover to a certain extent after I got done with the ceilings. And so I just, I just dipped it in just a hair more and, and made sure I had it all over there. Not too, not so it's dripping off all, all over the place. Then, then I wrapped it up in the plastic. You know, just hold it there. Push it over, hold it, push it some more. Go like that, and then you just let it set. You get ready to use it, pull it out. And I just, I just sat this up here off to the side and let it dry by its own. And then I can just, I can still use the, the rag, the, the plastic for this next time. I, I wouldn't put it over the same uh, area where it's painted now because it's not plastic plastic right on here, you know what I mean? But at least I got enough for one more roller. Like that. Okay? And so that's what that's what I'll end up doing if if I need to. I got this, I'll have this ready. And um, if I need to uh, uh, I, I I used to use I used to use a, a crummy paintbrush to wipe this every time I I, I poured this in, you know, with the, with the paint bucket and poured it. Then I, would, then I would clean this off and take the paint off. Now I've got a, now I've got a, a, a paintbrush that's got paint on it, right? That could, that could start um, drying if I don't rinse it off each time. Well, then if I want, I can take my plastic. Um, you know, before my roller, and I can just go like that, flip this around, wrap it, whatever I want to do, and push it in there, wrap this around, or however I want, and just leave it, you know, until I need to, until I need to use it again. If I need to do any um, uh, clean up or whatever, I'm, I'm going to have a I'll have a uh, rag out ready, or um, a wet sponge. I'll have a, a little rag. I got to bring a rag in here. So, I, so I want to. I want to be all ready for anything that happens to come up. If I need it at the spur of the moment, if I get some paint that dropped or something. And see, I've got the craft paper, and because I'm I'm going to be painting this wall and up above the door there and off to the right. I'm going to try to keep this middle section clear of any paint droplets the best I can. And then if I happen to get any paint droplets on there, instead of, instead of walking all over them, I'll see, oh, whoops, oh man, look, there's two little drops right there. I'll take my rag, wipe it off my craft paper, because I'll be able to see it, and then um, I don't have to traipse that all over the place. Okay, and then I've got, I've got my craft paper, you see? I've got it coming out the door like that. So, so each time I come out of here, you'd be, you'd be amazed how many times you come in and out of this door as you're painting. You know, for one reason or another. I, I'm looking around, make sure I don't have any wet spots here. And then I might, I might put my foot right here like that. And if I see any paint, oh shoot, wipe my foot off or take a, take a rag over here. And, and wipe your foot if there's one little spot on there, or I'd probably t I'd probably take this off and and wipe my foot off or something or or whatever. Put it put a longer towel there, you know, a throwaway one or something, and and then that way you don't have anything there. As a matter of fact, um, I probably went in and out of that bathroom huh, 15 times when I was painting the ceiling, doing two coats, rinsing out my my uh, my stuff and I didn't get any paint here at all this this was dry paint from before because um, last time I painted I saved I saved some of my craft paper and I put it in the garage and I thought I'll, I'll use that when I when I get ready for my uh, 
my bathrooms because not only do I have to paint this bathroom, I have to paint the other bathroom upstairs here in the condo. Okay, so um, after a while, um, you can, you know, for a while you can save some of your little pieces of craft paper. And I'll, I'll probably use some of this in the other room and then, um, then I'll start pulling off some new stuff off of my roll of craft, craft paper that I have down in the garage. Okay, and so now am I ready to start painting in this room after I get the cover plates off, after I put the masking tape up? After that, yes, I am ready to go. And only then, if I wasn't making a video right now, trust me, I would have went through all of these same steps, getting everything prepared. I don't just do it for the camera. I do this for myself to make things a lot easier when you're painting. And as for that, when I get done painting all these walls, I'm going to have gaps all around, everywhere, around the tile edge, around the around the baseboard, around the door frame, around the toilet, around the cabinet, around the light switches, and all that kind of stuff, okay? I'm not going to worry about that right now. But once all of the uh, walls are dry, after I've determined whether or not I need to put two coats of paint on there, or just one coat, is one coat going to cover or not? Hey, this paint is designed to cover in one coat, but I'm not sure if it's going to. Um, it's, it, it's, it's called paint and primer. And um, they say uh, in most applications it should cover in one coat. But this is a bathroom. These are existing semi-gloss walls. The existing walls are a way different color than the color that's going to go on the wall. This is the stuff that's going to go on the wall. Okay? And uh, I'm using semi-gloss paint going over semi-gloss paint. And so it has a tendency to want to slide and stuff. Is it going to cover in one coat? I'm not quite sure if it's going to or not. Now, when I painted everything out here, all this covered in one coat. I was really happy about that, but the existing paint was the same color as what's in, what's in the uh, bathroom, but it was flat paint. And um, I could have used this double-click flat paint on these walls, but whenever I paint walls in uh, houses, condos, and that kind of stuff, I like to use uh, an, an eggshell. An eggshell is just uh, uh, one step above flat paint. So it gives, it gives a very slight sheen. You can see there's, see how it's kind of shiny to a certain extent on, on the wall there, okay? The reason for that is now if anybody gets a splatter on the wall or something, you can lightly, with soap and water and a sponge, you can get it cleaned off. Okay, you can't really do that with flat paint. You see what I'm saying? And so this will take a little bit more of a beading, an eggshell finish, as opposed to flat. But I can't, I wasn't gonna put an eggshell in here. Bathrooms are usually semi-gloss. And yes, if you didn't watch that other video, I clean, I wipe down the walls first in bathrooms, you gotta do that. If there's dust in here, if there's powder from somebody using powder, hairspray, makeup, Whatever it is, you want to get, you want to get your, your, your walls cleaned off, your ceilings. I swept it down. I wiped it down. I even used, uh, 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 what is it, Simple Green Cleaner. And, and um, I did that on, on my other video. Here's the Simple Green, see? I used that from before and wiped it down. And then I rinsed it off with clean water with a sponge, wiped it down. I only do that in bathrooms, okay? Remember to do that, too so that your paint's going to stick. Alright. Okay, I'm right in the middle of it. I've been using my paint roller extension and lots of times I very seldom take the, the frame off of the uh, roller, uh, well the extension pole. But I had to do that in, in a couple spots down there and I, and I zipped it along the, the top just like I told you I would. See how nice and straight that is, yes, I have to, I still have to cut it in, but I got it up there because I kept the, uh, I kept this edge, I kept this edge dry. I try not to get it up on the edge there, and then I checked it every once in a while, and, and I used that all the way around. See there? All the way around the, uh, 
that and I did put a little piece of masking tape up there and there and um, you see even around the door I was able to uh, do it because I used the ed that edge of the framer see like that and then uh, I got in there as best I could with the roller uh, around the toilet and that's that's all that's all I wanted and then that I freehand along the edge there there's a little bit a little bit further but you don't want to get it so close that all of a sudden you hit the edge and stuff I can cut that in with a paintbrush you see and so now um, oh you know I didn't even I didn't even look down here I could get my roller in here back and forth just a just a little bit I might do that too along there and then I'll use the edge of the paint frame along here see I've got this section of wall that I still have to go and this is just one coat and I believe that it's going to cover in one coat I'm kind of happy about that I was hoping I I only had about a third of a gallon of paint left out of there and I was hoping to have enough to do this bathroom as well as the uh, the other bathroom upstairs then I wouldn't have to get a whole new paint can uh, you know to, to use only this much I mean you could um, you could uh, like it like if you're short uh, a little bit of paint you could get this mixed up in a pint or a little quart container if you want it at the store. I don't generally like to do that because then when they do the formula it could be slightly off between that and, and them doing a uh, gallon let's say. And you wouldn't want to be in the middle of a wall finishing and going to the store and getting a little can and having them mix it slightly off and then have it not blend in. So if you run short of paint Time to run short of paint would be down low, uh, not in the middle of a long wall. You know what I mean? If I was if I was short over here, right there, then I I would use the new paint can from here to there, let's say, or something. If you're getting short on paint, use up all of your extra paint. Don't finish uh, like a wall. Like if I was getting short of paint, I wouldn't I wouldn't paint this wall. I would use the rest of the paint I have to cut in everywhere so that all my paint colors are the same. If for some reason it's slightly off, it can be slightly off from the edge over to there, you're never gonna see it. You see what I'm saying? All right, so on the, I go paint the rest of this wall.